Hello everybody, so today as you have probably already worked out, uh, we are going rolling. So we are rolling the fodder beat ground. So this is what, um, so if you saw the little Vintage Thursday where we were playing with the subsoiler, that is where we are. So you saw in that video the field had been spread with muck um, and now it has been ploughed and today we're rolling it and working it. So what? Uh, so we ploughed this, ploughed this on Thursday. It ploughed up a bit wet, a little bit sticky. So we left it to dry for a day, um, and now we've come back to roll it and work it. So the top, the top is working now. It's dry enough. The bottom may still be a little bit sticky. We don't know yet. But by the time we get there, it might have dried out. So it's one of them make it up as you go along kind of jobs. But if we don't go today. The top bit where we are now, we've only just started, that will be too dry. So it's a bit of a balancing act. And to get it right at, you know, get everything done in the right, perfect kind of conditions. So we roll it ahead of the power harrow. Um, what that does, that gives it a little bit of consolidation, closes the furrows down, and gives something a bit harder for the power harrow to work against. Uh, otherwise it can just kind of push along in front of it if you're not careful. So, so that's what the rollers are doing, just, just squashing the top down and, um, and we're doing a nice tidy job. It did plough up very nicely, much, although it's grassland, uh, it ploughed up much better than where we drilled the wheat into. So it's a much tidier job, it's nice and level, everything got buried, all the grass, all the muck is gone, just brought up nice clean earth. and. Uh, will make a nice seed bed for the beat to go into. So as you saw at the start we just greased around the rollers. Uh, it's just much easier to grease them when they're when they're let out. Now obviously the bearings are on the end of the wings um, and I'm not tall enough to reach all the way at the top. Um, and doing it here, bringing the grease gun out here just saves messing about in the yard folding it out and folding it back up. So it's just easier to grease it up just before you start. And then plot on nice and steady because it ain't gonna take us long to get over this. I think it's a I think it's a 20 foot roller, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe around about there somewhere. So just going on steady. It ain't gonna take too long to get over. And the power harrow is a 10 foot Lemkin power harrow, so a little bit slower there, but you know, it does the job very nicely. Long time viewers will remember last year we had an awful bother with leather, leather jackets in the soil. Then we did briefly mention it in the drilling of the um, the wheat video uh, where we got away with it. There was there was none there. Um, I have checked when we were ploughing. I did check this field briefly, um, and I have found one leather jacket so far. But I always struggle to find them in freshly ploughed soil. It, what we'll do in a minute. Um, where the power harrow has been, there's a few birds picking up some it. Quite a few birds actually. Um, yeah, but we'll go and have a look there. It's always easier to find any that are there once it's been worked. So we'll do that in a minute. We'll go and have a look, see what we find. Some it, some it is attracting the birds anyway. And hopefully they're not just eating all our worms.
right, so we're getting along quite nicely now. Um, almost done, what are we? Three quarters of the way done. Um, that's getting on nicely. Power her on away. But while we were before we ploughed, or <coughs> while I was ploughing, <coughs> they came up and you can see had to trim up a few trees, overhanging branches, um, and along that long hedge down there. I had to burn it all up in a little bonfire. So some of the bigger branches are still there. So we'll get out, move them, just put them under the hedge for now. Um, kind of 99% not, not, of that burnt up. Um, and then we just, Dad just moved it over so I could play the, the last little bit of the headland. So we'll just get out, chuck them in the bottom of the hedge, and, uh, and, and then we can roll over that bit. But it's, it's windy out, so that's why we're doing it in here. And we're gonna get out now, but you probably won't hear nothing. Oh, and another thing. <coughs> oh, I just found this massive prehistoric nail. Um, it ploughed up, obviously, and I just happened to notice it as I was rolling along. And um, we wouldn't want that in the in the tyre, would we? It's a proper old-fashioned, handmade Victorian kind of nail, I would imagine. Well, you're lucky to find that not in a tyre. So that's all that's left of our bonfire. You know, burnt up very nicely. So we'll just put the few branches over under the under the uh, under the hedge and um, just tidy up, really. So there we go, all tidied up. A few little bits of stick left, but no one hurt. Um, we just don't want any big bits getting in, causing issues when we're drilling. So just getting there now, almost. Just the last little bit to the hedge to do, and then obviously headland each end. And it's going quite well. So this would have been an ideal job to uh, to use a 1200 on the rollers. Nice little morning out having fun and doing something useful but the 1200 is still in bed he's still asleep not been woken up yet this year and um takes it's going to take a little he's buried a bit in the shed so it's going to take a little bit to get him out so no time for that unfortunately we, are, we had to get on and get this done which is a shame but there we are you know these things happen we can't play all the time can we much as it would be nice to so I did mention a couple of months ago, probably, that um, when the channel, if the channel ever gets to 15,000 subscribers, uh, we were gonna do a little live video thingy one evening to celebrate. Uh, we're gradually ticking away now, and we're getting closer. And there has been quite a, a major development happened uh, just recently, in that I was very kindly sent a load of stuff by Chandler, the Massey Ferguson agent, um, who we now deal with? Um, they took over. They took over Lister Wilder, who we were dealing with, where this tractor came from. Um, so now, you know, they're our local dealer, um, and they very kindly sent a few goodies to me. And they said, you know, do what you like with this. So we thought, well, why don't we celebrate our fifteen thousand milestone by having a little giveaway? So we'll give away some of the stuff that I got sent. I remember we'll chucking a few of our mugs and, and what have you, because we don't we don't really sell mugs anymore, but we've got a couple left, so we'll chuck some of them in. So I think what we'll do when uh, when the time gets a little bit closer, on the end of the video when we're getting near, um, we'll say how to enter, because I haven't really worked that out yet. And then hopefully we can do the draw on the live video thing if that works out. So there we are. You want to subscribe and help get there a bit quicker, and then maybe you might win some it. Because it was a very, you know, it's a very kind gesture we've had. Um, sent us some bits and pieces. And it's only fair that we share that with the viewers. Because obviously without viewers we wouldn't have nothing, would we? So, you know. so subscribe. And let's get there. Let's get our numbers up a little bit higher. You know, if you want to. No pressure or nothing. 
So just while we're on the headland, what we'll do, we'll jump out, take a look at what we're, or uh, have a look at the job the power harrow's doing. And let's do a check. I did do a little look a minute ago, or a bit ago, and couldn't find any. See if we can find any leather jackets in this part of the field. So I looked farther up where we started. Um, we're kind of middle-ish here, ish. See if we can find any. This is a little bit sticky on the headland. See, it's just sticking to the rollers, just a little bit. So this is what we're producing. Um, it's okay, is the best we can call it. It's not good enough yet. Um, it's going to need another pass to uh, to for the beat. We can't drill into that. Um, nice big fat worm, look. Let's cover him up. Don't want the seagulls eating him. But what we're looking for is a leather jacket. Um, I think if we were going to find any, we would have found them by now. If there's a problem, they're fairly easy to find. Um, and looking this far, oh, that's another worm. Bury him again. I think we're going to be okay this year. We're going to we're going to make an announcement <laughs> that we ain't got none. Um, but yeah, it's just too lumpy still. Still too cloddy. It's going to need another pass. But the fact... See, it's, it's plenty damp enough, really, for this. Um, but yeah, I think we'll... I think we'll call the leather jacket problem not a problem for this year. So there we go, we have finished. Uh, all we've got to do is put our bracer bar thingy back on the, the wings uh, and then we're done. But we are approaching the field of wheat that we drilled after last year's Hardaby. So what we'll do, quickly jump over the gate because I haven't been out there for seven days. We'll go and have a look, see what it's looking like. Deer look. Little deer family. So here we go, out in the field. So this was drilled on the 1st of April. And today is da -da, the 23rd. So three weeks ago yesterday this was put in. So it went in on Friday, today is a Saturday. Um, I know this camera's not the best at showing long distance stuff. But hopefully you can kind of see from here, looking across, it looks brilliant. Um, we'll get a little bit closer. Um, we do have a massive flush of weeds coming. These are all, we knew this was coming. This always follows fodder beet, fat end. Um, we're going to get the agronomist out this week, hopefully. I'll get him to come and look at it to make sure we can keep it clean. But as you can see, look, loads of moisture down there. Plenty of moisture underneath. And really pleased with how it's looking for, for three weeks. It does look good, I have to say. If there's any, if there's any proper professional corn farmers watching, um, give us your opinion on it. Because it looks good to me, but I don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm really happy with that. Let's get up and check our other three fields that were following grassland. We went up there a week ago. Haven't been up there for a week, but we must go and check again. But yeah, really pleased with how that's looking. So that'll do. We're finished for today. Um, I will just say thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, um, comment, and subscribe, and give us your opinion on the wheat. Tell us, tell us, you know, tell us, tell us what you think. So thank you very much for watching, um, and we will see you next time.